you have to remove the engine from the frame and drill out 17 rivets that hold the air box over the flywheel. I used a Dremel with a cutoff wheel to grind down the finger screws so they're pinned on and you have to grind down to the point where you can release the paws and get that assembly off. This is after the finger screws have been removed and I have also removed the flywheel. You have to remove the air box that's bolted to the engine. It's held down by four screws. Then I've already replaced the coil. It's only held in by two screws. It's got to be at least 30 thousandths. I think, no, let me say again, that it has to be no more than 30 thousandths and you gauge it right close to the inner edge that's thirty thousandths that's thirty thousandths that inner edge right there I've already installed the Paws on the finger screws with the washer, and I'm using a metal chisel to pin it back in place. I'm doing it two different directions. I'm installing all of the rivets back into the air box to be riveted. I was following the instructions from Southwest Air Sports. I will leave an item list in the description.